Hey guys, Dustin here from Classic Elite, and this is the Duo Gamer game controller for iPad. I am super pleased to bring you this review. I really wanted one of these, and they were kind enough to give us one. This is what the box looks like. No one cares. Uh, inside the box, you get a carrying pouch for your controller, a stand for your iPad, which works like so. It also has a nifty little holder so if you wanted to place it like so you could and even recharge it at the same time and of course you get the controller itself it has a really good d-pad fill it's not too squishy but not too rigid uh, four buttons a b y and x and you got your two analog sticks here these would be and also underneath you have the, uh, I guess it would be L2 and L, no, L2 and R2, because there are only two shoulder buttons. And it is powered by two AA batteries. The two batteries that came with it are Lusty Alkaline, which I'm pretty sure was the Bond Girl from Skyfall. And uh, the middle button here is the power button and the pause button during play. So now let's show you how to set it up. All right, the first thing you want to do is head into settings, turn your Bluetooth on, and then turn the controller on, and wait for it to be discovered. After it's discovered, tap on it, and after it does its thing, it will pair with your iPad. There we go, connected. Now we can game on it. Now the best thing about this is the fact that if you get a digital AV adapter and an HDMI cord, you can totally turn your iPad into a console-like experience. As you can see here, I am playing some Asphalt 7, and it's not that different from just playing something on my 360. And if you look closely, you can see that my iPad is actually showing me what the track looks like and where the power-up's going to appear. So guys, the good news is the controller is great. It works really well. The There's no latency in between button presses and the on-screen action. And, you know, if you're obsessive compulsive like me, when you use virtual sticks, virtual buttons, you end up getting fingerprints smeared all over your device, and it drives me nuts. So this is another uh, way to avoid having to deal with that. But the only problem, and it's a huge, huge problem, is the fact that this controller will run you $80, and it only works right now with five different games. So yes, it's fantastic, and there's a good chance that there are, you know, it's Gameloft branded, so the more games that they put out, the more likely that you will have games to play with this. But for right now, $80 to play five games with a controller, you may be able to justify that purchase with the fact that Christmas is coming up. If you want to get this as a gift, or if you can you know, get a bunch of uh, Amazon gift cards, that way you can make this without having to pay out of pocket, then it's it's definitely it's definitely worth having, and I'm hoping that this becomes the de facto standard, the way that the Xbox 360 controller has become the uh, standard for PC gaming. Hopefully this will catch on, and I will be able to play all of the games that would uh, be uh, appropriate for this kind of controller, with it and I mean I would love to be able to I would love to be able to play Mano Sands of Fate with this controller because that game is fantastic the controls are great and if I could play it with this controller it would it would be amazing. So for right now if you if you're a really enthusiastic collector and you love all these game loft games then pick it up because it is it's a fantastic piece of equipment. If $80 for this controller seems a bit much for you, you, you should definitely pass it up. So guys, thank you for watching. Again, I am Dustin from Classic Elite. Please show us some love by throwing us a like, a comment, and a subscribe. If you really want to help us out, then share this on Facebook and Twitter as well as favorite it. And I will catch you next video.